<clears throat> predictions? Oh man, roaches out of Hyun? I mean, I don't know. I'm not a huge. I'm not a uh, Protoss or Reserve player, so PPZ is a little not as uh, clear to me as any Terran matchups. But possibly Phoenix play, possibly or Oracle play coming early. We'll find out. Spawning in the upper right. Habitation station. Our blue Zerg. It is Rockets Hyun. And spawning in the top left, looking to get at least a little bit of prize money. We have the red Protoss. It is Seed. Alright, nothing... Super cheeky coming out just yet. No nine pools. Chad has some predictions. What's that? Hide or Haida 888 calls 03 for Hyun. We got a Hyun fan out in the audience. Not really giving Seed any chance whatsoever. Seed played decently well this tournament. I wouldn't be surprised if he takes at least a map off of Hyun. I think so. I think he's quite a skilled player. And Hyun's good, but, you know, best of five, you definitely have a time where you'll be able to uh, take a game over your opponent as long as you're playing well. Drone Scout coming out from Hyun. It's interesting. Would you usually go for a Drone Scout in PvZ? In Habitation, your Overlord can get there rather quickly. It looks like he just wants a bit more information. What he's looking to find out right now, he's at the 15 Supply. Do I put a pool? Do I put a hatch? What will I see if I walk into this base? And right now we're going to see a pylon and a gate. Kind of indicating a gateway expand. I mean, he could really 3 hatch before pool if he wanted to after confirming that this is, in fact, a gate expand. C dropping both gases at his main here, indicating he wants to go for the tech. Hyun drops that natural. It's like a 15 hatch. Now will he go three hatch? I think he's going to. This drone is on course to drop the third hatch at the third location here. Yep. He's droned all the way up. It looks like that's exactly what we'll see. Perfect. Yeah. There's not a lot C can do about this. It's the price you pay when you gate expand. Cybernetics core about just under halfway. Zealot this, coming out. This may get canceled. Interesting taking the double gas there. Yeah. You gotta wonder what he's gonna do with it. I think Stargate may come out uh, come out of uh, seed here. We did see that before. He did like to go Phoenixes, at least in PvP. Um, so yeah, he may, may opt for Stargate. Yep, Stargate coming down immediately, although Hyun's going to scout it immediately as well. Yep, he sees that Stargate warping in because his Overlord is absolutely uncontested. Only thing currently out for Seed is a Zealot. He's pushing across the map as well. Mothership Corps about to wrap up. Also rallied across the map, so looking to do some, some aggressive tickling with this Mothership <laughs> Corps. Gotta wonder if Hyun's that, ticklish. Does that Overlord see the Stargate? It did. It spotted okay. the Stargate earlier. Yep. I missed that. Uh, warp Gate research underway. Oracle likely incoming. Yeah, I anticipated Oracle to come out first and then be followed by a Phoenix. Yep, there we go. Chrono boosting that Oracle out. Hyun knows exactly what's going on here. He's got three queens in production. Yep. Ready for it. I feel like Oracles just don't have quite as much punch in PvZ. I'm used to seeing them in uh, TvP where they can be quite deadly. Queens do a decent job at getting away the, uh, or fighting away the oracles, but one oracle kind of gives one queen a lot of trouble, and as we've said before and seen before, it can get at least two or three kills from the drone before having to retreat. Yeah, not even, even if it does poorly, it can get two kills. Right. Two spores coming out of Hyun here, trying to mitigate any sort of damage. Yeah, reinforcing those queens. Ooh, getting, looking for a queen yeah, right here. the queen here. will fall, actually, with that Zealot helping. And the Mothership Corps coming in to pop a couple shots. The Zealot's going to fall in turn as well. Mothership Corps is going to have to retreat after losing its shields. Queen's not going to make it too far. Looking like they're their first time in heels whenever they're off creep there. <laughs> I remember my first time in heels. I remember your first time in heels, too. What a day that was. I mean, yeah. what an evening. How much money I made that day, you have no idea. <laughs> Sentries coming out of seat. Definitely opted for more sentries in the last game we watched. Um, 
Who did he fight last time? Who was his opponent last uh I closed last PBZ? the bracket. And I should remember because, you know, we were both there. We were. But it was early. Close. And we've forgotten. Sorry, guys. Let's figure out who it was. Because he definitely likes this, this sentry play Ragnarok. a lot. He played Ragnarok. Oh, he did. Okay, Ragnarok. So, yeah, he opted for a lot of sentries, often 5-6. None of which worked out for him. Mm, he had some. He did have that one nice push where he walled his opponent out of his own natural, out of his own third. Right. Did a lot of damage and then threw the game. I mean, <laughs> it felt that way. I'm really over some finding situations. Seed still played it out really well. But um, that game was just playing brutal. They were neutering each other constantly. And in the end, it went to uh, Ragnarok. Seeing Hyun get those roaches. The Roach King cometh. All upon the chests of his victims. More gates dumping out. Ooh, so Phoenix coming out as well from C. Only going for one Phoenix right now, though. Not coming to any more. Instead of going for more gateways. Still on two gas at the 8.30 mark. These gateways yep. coming down, confirming the gateway two base all in. We will see out of seed here in just a matter of time. Yep. Hyun has got the three base saturation already up and going, and he's going to start cranking out units as fast as he can because these sentries are on the way. Yep. They're taking the long way around the third here, trying to avoid his overlord scout from popping. And he's going to see it. Yep. Creep starting to get cleaned up with the help of that surviving oracle. Yep. Revelation. I'm sorry, Envision is actually the name of that one. Mm -hmm. No idea what's name of it, honestly. Speed <laughs> hopefully will <laughs> Speed will hopefully finish in time to help engage this here. Going to be very annoying to those sentries. Roaches are also on the way with reinforcements. A forge and a robo goes down behind this for seed. Yeah, that robo definitely gonna be interesting to see what he pumps out with that. Some mortal play, which we did not see versus Ragnarok. He never built oh yeah, I guess he had one immortal at one point. Um, but more would have been nice to see. Ling's moving forward as speed just now pops for them. Halfway done is Roach speed. Oh. Really good supply lead for uh, Hyun right now. Yeah. They go too far on the creep. They will be surrounded, will be forced to recall, and that they do. You got no force fields off right there. It was kind of interesting. Usually the uh, Protoss player kind of snaps force fields out. Not looking too great for Seed right now. That was a push that needed to do some damage. Yeah, absolutely. Hyun is now on three base saturation with a huge supply lead and an army lead. Pushing the Oracle across. Need to get some drones dead here. Or drone down. He has a 15 lead on workers like Antara said. Currently a 20 lead on workers. Holy crap. That Spore is going to stop that Oracle from doing any heavy damage here as well as that Queen. That Oracle is going to have to go home again. There's a pylon remaining on the south side of the map that Hyun's just now sniffing out. The That's... Hunter. The Hunter of pylons. And maybe a Soul Probe down on the very far bottom right of the map looking to put down a... No, that's a Phoenix. Soul Phoenix looking to put down a pylon. Still can't figure out how to do it. We'll come back to see uh, how he progresses with learning how to build a pylon. Meanwhile, pushing up into the third location of the Protoss opponent. Nice force fields coming out. Waits for the roaches to put down the force fields. Very nice move by Seed. Immediately yeah. cleans up the lings. Yeah, got a lot of lings right there. For very little, I think uh, lost some shield damage. Or some shields on the zealots. No big whoop. War Prism coming out. Going to serve as that mobile pylon. By the way, we do see Immortals coming out. At least one has popped out for uh, our Protoss player. Plus one weapons coming out as well. Meanwhile, 11 Hydras morphing in for our Zerg player. Looking to not be knocked down is a lot of damage. It's really tough to go up these ramps right now because he has to go up a small configuration into this concave of Hyun. Yeah, he does not want to do that. The force fields are there, but what can he do with them right now? I mean, the War Prism is certainly going to get help out with uh, repositioning his Immortal, but he needs to get up this ramp to get a decent... Decent lineup for his shots. Yeah. The force for Hyun is quite large. I'm not even sure Seed really wants to go up that ramp. He seems like he does, but I don't think he really does. Look at the supply difference right now as well. It's quite staggering. We're seeing 190 supply. Hyun's about to max in 14 minutes. Maxing on Roach Hydra as well, which is a very damage intensive composition. Dance of Death continues yeah. as Hyun is just about maxed. 
Time is on Hyun's side. He's maxed. He's got his upgrades coming down. Twilight Council coming down for Seed in the background. Ooh, looking to do a surround here. Hyun pushes down to the low ground. Swarms down with this force of Hydra's. Nice force field's going to clean up a lot of the links here. Going to die any sort of damage. Ooh, a little more getting kind of close, but he's okay. Ground armor coming out of our protest player. He definitely needs it. Just Mothership trade. core is lost. Yeah, that was a bit of a missed micro there. Hydra speed certainly going to help out. A little late to the party, but it will help from here on out. We are still pretty Hydra heavy, as you can tell from this composition here. Still maxed. Plus one range coming down. A muta switch yeah. is a possibility in the exactly. background. I was about to say, he's, he's maxing up a bank right now, about 1k in both resources. Sick lineup and oh, concave God. poised to strike here for Hyun. Yeah, move around the backside, trying to get that backstab. Oh, look at this, splitting off to each side, holding the center. This is a three Do you right have now. enough force fields for all of this seed? Or will you tap out? As Hyun moves forward to engage this, what will C do? His mothership is gone. He cannot recall. He's backstepping a little bit, but the damage is too great for Hyun here. He's going to lose his entire army. Yeah, absolutely. He's going to get crushed. He's just being out damaged right now. Out teched. He has only one immortal. He captured two immortals. He's just not the Roach and the Hydra crushing power he needs to. These stalkers just don't do that much damage against Roach Hydra. Pretty much only the reinforcements remain for Seed as the GG comes out. Hyun's going to take an easy 1-0 lead here in this best of five series. Four third 